mountains of Shizuoka and you can see how breathtaking it is. Now it has just hit spring, you can see the flowers are coming out, but it's still a little bit cold. So I'm going to make a hearty stir fry with local shiitake mushrooms, eggplant and a little bit of chicken to warm me up. Now I'm just heating up a wok here or a deep saute pan and I'm going to finally slice some ginger and some garlic. Look how cute this little mandolin is. It's so sharp and you can get these all over the place in Japan. I love this because it means I can put a lot of ginger in this and it's not going to be chunky, it's going to be quite fine. And then with a sharp knife, finely slice these into slithers. You usually don't associate stir fries with Japanese food, but in actual fact, a lot of Japanese families do have stir fries for just a midweek dinner. It's actually called itameru. So that's what I'm gonna be making. Now a little bit of garlic, again, finely slicing it. Now a little bit of vegetable oil into the wok. And being very careful not to burn that garlic. Nothing worse than overcooked garlic because it's going to give our dish a very bitter flavour. Alright, while that's happening, I can get onto my vegetables. The mushrooms in this area are incredible. They're plentiful. These shiitake are so fresh. And because they are so fresh, the base of it is actually quite tender. So I'm just going to take about a third off each base and then keep the rest. Now shiitake has a wonderful smoky, earthy flavor. So it's actually a great substitute for meat if you didn't want to add the chicken to this stir fry. All right, before I add the mushrooms, because they don't take long at all to cook, I will add some chicken. This chicken is just thigh, and I love to use thigh because it's got a little bit of fat throughout it, which means it's going to stay moist throughout the cooking process. So I'll add the chicken now, so we seal it off. Now, chicken thigh is going to take a little bit longer to cook than chicken breast, so give it a really good head start. And no salt, because the seasoning that I'm about to prepare has enough salt in it. Now, for the sauce, very simple ingredients. Ingredients that are used quite often in Japan for all their sauces. Always add a little bit of sugar, some soy sauce, so the sweetness will counteract against the saltiness. So we'll combine that together. A hint of sesame oil and mirin, along with a little bit of miso paste. Miso paste, I am addicted to. It's got that incredible savory flavor to it and just a spoonful of it really transforms a whole dish. And then with a whisk, just carefully combine all of this together to form our delicious little sauce that's going to go with this stir fry. Okay, now it's time to add our mushrooms, so a nice big handful of the shiitake, along with some eggplant. Now this is just a lovely little Japanese eggplant, so it's very tender. I'll cut it in half, you don't need to salt it at all, and then I'll just cut them into half moon shapes, around the same size as our mushrooms. And then this can go into I want this eggplant to still have a little bit of texture to it, so holding its shape. I'll give that a really quick toss just to coat it in the ginger and the garlic. It smells fantastic already and I haven't even added the main ingredient which is this delightful sauce. Pour it over and I'll use my whisk just to scrape all that lovely miso on the bottom. We'll toss that one more time. And you can see how it's starting to glaze that chicken and it's glazing the mushrooms. Now this is a really interesting ingredient and you could probably find it in good Japanese stores in Australia. These are soybeans. They are sweet and sticky and have a really nice creamy texture. Great for a really hearty stir fry like this. So a few tablespoons in. Mmm, they are so good. Now I'm serving this with classic good old rice and then I'll add a good portion of that onto a plate. I'm extremely hungry today because it's very cold. This is going to warm me up on a very crisp, fresh spring day here in Japan. That is one seriously hearty stir fry. Itameru as we say here in Japan. I'm gonna have a taste of these gorgeous shiitake mushrooms. Mm. That is absolutely divine. 
The shiitake in this really makes this a fantastic stir fry. So if you can find shiitake in Australia, definitely put them in your stir fry. Use these sauces too to make it a Japanese inspired stir fry. Absolutely delicious.